Hey, it's Mr. Bunnell, Hearts Academy screenshot photographer. Um, we're going to be doing some screenshots. I want you to use, for this particular assignment we did this week, I want you to use the area screenshot tool in whatever operating system you're using. You're, it's up to you to look up which operating system you're using, what computer, and to figure out what screenshot you can use to get an area screenshot. So to start with, we're going to open up. I wanted you to take a screenshot of the Google Apps window pull down here. So what you're going to do is take a screenshot of this and then scroll down and take another screenshot and scroll down and take another screenshot until you have a screenshot, three screenshots of the whole, you know, that cover the whole little apps window. So I'm going to turn on my area screenshot. Notice my cursor turns into a little plus sign, a little crosshair. And I'm going to draw my box to take my screenshot. Got my screenshot. Now I'm going to scroll down until I get to about there, because I was about half that that icon before, and now I've got the whole icon. So I'm going to take another screenshot by holding down the shift key, and on mine, shift print will do it. And I'm going to get this set up, and then draw my box. And then I'm going to scroll down again. Okay, so it was this just the top of that, but uh, that's the end of the, the list of icons. So now I'm going to take another screenshot and use the same. I'm, my screenshot is sometimes have to, I have to wait between screenshots so it'll actually take the picture. So now I'm ready to go. I'm going to draw my box around the screen. I'm on my little area here. And so now I have my three screenshots. Now I'm going to, now I should also, on your computer, on my computer, go, the screenshots get stored in different places. On my computer, it's the pictures folder. On, your, on the Chromebook or the downloads folder, you have to figure out on your computer where they go, or like on Windows, you choose where they go. And on Windows, you have to, once a screenshot is taken with a snipping tool, you have to save that screenshot to the pictures folder, the desktop, each time you take one. You take one, save that one. Not like this, this particular screenshot tool saves a picture automatically to the downloads folder. So your each, each system works a little differently. Now I'm going to go to Pixlr. Pixlr is this, this photo editing tool, and I've already signed in. So I, I'm, I'm already in the program, and, and the free version has the advertisements in it. So you're going to sign in with your school email address and make up your own password. It's not an LAUSD connected app where you have to sign in with your Google. Let's say sign in with Google. Now you just open up, sign, you know, sign, use your school email and make up a password and just create an account. Once your account is created, you're going to go to Open Image. Now, in this case, I'm, I'm, I'm picking open image here, so let's, let's see here. I've got to go to the first screenshot I took, and then I click open. And so here, the first screenshot is now in Pixlr. The, the next step to this is I'm going to go and, and I'm going to add some space, because right now the entire, it's called the canvas, the area I get to work in, is not big enough to add those other pictures down below this one, those other screenshots. So I'm going to add some space in the canvas. I'm going to click on image and I'm going to go to canvas size. And I get this little box with a blue dot in the middle. The blue dot in, in the middle represents whatever asset, whatever picture I'm working with. And it, when it's in the middle, if I add width or I add height, if it's in the middle, the width and height will add equally above and below or to the sides of my picture. In this case, I want everything to add below, so I'll put my picture here. I'm only only adding height, so I'm going to go and and it says 700. So let's see, 320. So I'm going to say just a round figure, kind of make it 3,000 pixels tall, and that's going to add pixels below the pictures, 2,300 or so pixels. I click apply, and now you see what I've got here. I'm zooming out. I've got all this space right here. I'm going to get rid of this ad. I've got all this space to add in those other screenshots. So now I'm going to go and there's some tool showing on my screen. So I'm not going to add those other pictures. So I'm going to go File, Open Image. I'm going to pick the second screenshot. And now it's open. See, there, here's the original one. Here's the one I just opened. They're in two separate tabs in the editing tool. I'm going to select everything here. I'm going to go and use, let's see, I'm going to move this over a little bit so I can see. I'm going to use the, I'm going to 
the tool here is called the, the, so the uh, what is it called? It says, so mouse over it, the arrange tool. I can use the select tool and draw a box around this, or I can just hit control A, and you see the little tiny dotted, animated dotted line means that that's the selection. Then control C, like on, it's almost universal, or command C to copy. And now I'm gonna go into the first screenshot where I've got all that extra space and command V for the paste. I'm going to zoom in a little bit because now I'm going to have to put these together. So I'm going to use, I've got, I've already in my arrange tool. So I'm going to grab this and move it up. And you notice that, that a little purple line shows up when the two pictures are centered on each other. Now I'm a little bit off. You see it's a little bit off there, but, but I get right there. I'll move it over a little bit and I can use the arrows to line up everything perfectly the last little bit. So you can see right here, I'm going to get that as close as I can. Like, to where do they all line up? So I, I'm gonna guess it's right around there. Now I'm gonna go get that, and if I click outside, I'm, you know, once it's selected, you can see these little anchors appear. When it's no longer selected, I, it's not moving. So, and then over here, you can see there's layers that have been added. We'll get into that later. Now I'm gonna add the third picture. So I'm gonna click on open image, and we'll click on the, hit the third one. Now this one is open, control A to select it. Control C to copy it. I go, now here's the, the first screenshot, second screenshot, third screenshot, first screenshot. I'm gonna paste this in with Control V. And now I can move this one around and get it in the right place, which is around, right around, yeah, I can't, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. So I can see, I can line everything up a little better. And I can see, oh, that's a little bit off. I'm not getting it quite right. So what I can do is I can go to the last little bit with the arrow keys. Now some of these programs have right about there. That looks pretty good. I'm going to click outside the box and then I'm going to save the whole thing. Now there's these layers will disappear if I save, save it as a JPEG. What will happen is it's called it will flatten the image, which means it puts all the pictures together and takes out the layers and you just have one picture with all three in it. Um, oh, that reminds me, before I do that, I want to get rid of, so you'll see this, this checker pattern at the bottom. That would actually be part of the picture. The file would be that long, but this area, because it's got this checkerboard area in it, it's called translucent. It would just, it would, it's transparent. You couldn't, you could see through it. So you, if you put this picture onto something, you would see through in this area of the picture. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select just the picture I have here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more. I'm going to select just the picture by drawing a box around it. Oops, I'm going to get rid of this ad. No ad. So I can draw a box from this direction. I'm going to start down here at the bottom. Now as long as I get the bottom right, I can be a little bit outside. You notice I've, I've selected it's outside for some reason. Oh, I need to... Sorry, I need to move this up a little bit. It's not moving up. Well, that'll do for now. I've selected this area, and then I'm going to go over to Image, Crop. And now I've cropped out all the excess stuff, and I'm left with the all the icons. So there's that. Now, the next part, last part, is Save. I'm going to pick JPEG high quality and I can just go to 100 why not and download because it's not I don't, there's no um, online storage on Pixlr you download everything you upload everything so I'm going to click download and now I can give it a name I'm going to put it in my pictures folder here's all my pictures and I'm going to say um, uh, let's see what do I say I say um, Google's oh see I've already named a couple app screenshots and I'll call this one 2.jpg. And so now, now I'm done. Now, let's say you wanted to work with these, these um, uh, layers again. You can save this as a PXD, which is the Pixlr format. And that will save all these layers. It's going to be a little bit bigger file. 
but it will save all the layers and all the, the, the things you're working on and you can continue working. So if you wanted to save that and then come back in at a later time and say, oh, I'm going to move this like this, you could. But if it's a JPEG, it's already made into one picture. You can no longer work with the layers. But that's it. That's, that, that's the assignment. You can kind of like scroll back and forth into the video. You can speed it up, slow it down. But that's the basics of what we're, going to, what we're doing today and what we did this week is take those screenshots, put them together. This is extra credit, but it's something you're going to be using uh, later on in the class. So it, you know, it'll pay for you to do it now if you're gonna, uh, instead of doing it later. All right. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in class.